In Fort Myers, Dell would play the role of the male decoy. Dell is a contributor uh, with perverted justice. She is one of the most senior people there. She has a number of roles. She helps coordinate the investigation with Frank. She also acts as a uh, decoy, both on the phone and, you know, if needed, in person. Why don't you uh, make yourself at home here? Have a seat. What's going on? Not much, how are you? Yeah, good, how are you? Good. What you doing here? Yeah, come hang out. Hang out with who? With Rob. And how old is he? Fourteen. Fourteen. And how old are you? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Why do you think it's appropriate for you, as a twenty-three-year-old, to come here to hang out with a fourteen-year-old? I was just coming to hang out. Coming to hang out. Now, you had a pretty lengthy conversation with him. Several times later. Yeah, several times. When I was growing up, my parents used to say, don't talk to strangers, don't take rides from strangers. That's still good advice. But it's not enough today, because as we see with Ryan McIntosh, the potential predator uses this grooming as a way to gain the child's confidence. And after a period of weeks, talking to this potential predator, the child no longer sees them as a stranger. You know it's against the law to solicit somebody who's underage for sex on the internet. Sure. Which was pretty much what was going on here. That's right. I didn't have that conversation this time. You didn't have that conversation? No. With this boy who said he was 14? I said I didn't have it tonight. That's what I said. You didn't have it tonight? I didn't have it maybe the last time we talked about it, sure. Brian McIntosh, in the very last conversation, before he shows up at the house, he sort of retreats. He's more cautious. He's more about, well, let's see how it goes. We can hang out. He leaves it open. And I think when we see this, we see someone who might be suspicious about walking into an investigation. You talk about penis size, whether he's got pubic hair. Mm -hmm. You say you're horny. You say you're masturbating while you're talking to him. You talk about hooking up, and you say, if you don't tell anybody, you suck my I said that? Yeah, and then you say, I don't want to go to jail. Do you recall that conversation? I'm sure I didn't say that. The reality is, once that solicitation is made, even if it's earlier, you know, crime has been committed. I was just going to hang out, and I felt like I'd be more of a big brother more than anything. I did Big know. brother? Yeah, so you're coming over to be a mentor? In a way, yes. In a way. And I'm sure you've heard that 20 billion times. 20 billion and one, counting to nine. I'm sure. I'm not, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. I was not, I'm sure you hear this from every day, but no, it was, I had no intention of having sex with him tonight. I like to educate other people and, and let them know what it's really like and what it's not like, and that they don't have to because they're their only child and they haven't had a big brother or a big sister or whatever the case may be. But here's the thing, and most people would say that there's nothing wrong with helping somebody. Sure come to terms with who they are, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the issue here is not geared straight. No. The issue here is adult child. So why didn't the chat on the internet reflect what you're telling me now? Well, why didn't you have a conversation tonight? I, just, I was going to just come out and hang out and, and see what he's like. Macintosh was pretty nonchalant about the whole thing. And I don't know whether that's because he thought he had covered himself in the, in the latest chat. Maybe he just uh, came to terms with the, the, the realization that he knew what was going to happen next. Well, i got to tell you, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. I know. And we're, you know. Yeah. Have you seen the previous stories? Yeah. You have. And what was your impression of the, of the earlier stories? Nothing. They were very good coverage. Good coverage? They were good coverage. It's probably the second or third time that it happened. And... Uh, you know, it kind of blew me away. I mean, here's a guy who's caught in the investigation who's complimenting us on the investigation. So it's almost like, in his mind, he's saying, those other guys are bad guys. They deserved it. But me, you know, it's unfortunate that I surfaced in this, but I really wasn't going to do anybody any harm. Obviously, you free to walk out the door you came in. Okay. I'm going to walk out and they're going to come with me out there. That's not, that's not up to me. <laughs> you know, yes. Okay. Thank you. When he left, 
he knew what was going to happen. He walked out the back door and just kind of waited for the police to get there. Get down. Get down. He didn't resist in any way, and they arrested him and it took him away to process him. Ryan McIntosh, you're charged with attempted lewd and lascivious battery on a victim 12 years of age, up to 15 years of age, and obscene communication by use of a computer to solicit or solicit a child.